Rockwood 2604 Ultralight here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. One owner, we actually sold it brand new. Folks were happy with it and just wanted to go, uh, I think they uh, upgraded to something a little bit bigger. Had a lot of units come in on trade and uh, I normally try to get a really good beat on the story behind each of them and we've had so many come in so quickly that I'm having trouble keeping up. Um, 2604 is an ideal couples camper. It's got a uh, big rear living room, very nice walk through middle bathroom, and look at the size of the sawing. This is the whole thing with Rockwoods. They are the most highly appointed lightweights out there. They have been. They've been the number one selling lightweight for many, many years. Um, you know, things like the bigger awning that covers both entry doors, the things like this massive basement down here, and a lot of it's the construction. You see aluminum studs down here to keep the weight down and stru structure up. The fact that this is six sided laminated you walk up to a lot of trailers with laminated skin and only your two side walls are laminated you walk up to the front walls the sides of the slide out the rear walls and they're not but with a rockwood even the roof i mean every single darn uh uh visible skin everything is all laminated to keep the weight down and the structure up um rockwoods are not the cheapest lightweight out there they're just one of the best that's the whole thing you know better grade power awning power tongue jack stuff like that that you know when you buy a brand new camper a cheap power awning and tongue jack is going to last you a few years and it'll be out of warranty before you ever experience any trouble and it's not to say that you will there's just a greater likelihood um, when you're looking at a used rockwood which you don't get a lot of because people don't tend to upgrade from a rockwood they upgrade to one um you you get uh you know a more reassurance that you're getting a better piece here on a, on a pre-owned item you know uh enclosed underbellies here for extended season camping and better aerodynamics that's just the stuff you expect from them and they're really these guys they're one of the reasons that so many of these lightweight brands out here do some of that stuff now um the uh all your windows open for ventilation cross breeze windows everywhere and again walk up to the side of the slide out of another lightweight trailer and bang on that bang on the rear wall and it's not going to thump back like this one does zero flex walk on roof your power roof vents actually have max air covers built on them standard from the factory so that was factory done not aftermarket done so you don't have to worry about some um hillbilly mechanics that we're working on things um the uh let's see here power awning with uh, auto rain dump struts plus you can tilt that awning and keep it locked down even their outside kitchen station or their cooking station as it were is a little bit superior here they you're uh it's nice to find a used camper by the way where they left this stuff in it a lot of people will try to keep this stuff i don't know why they think grills are just worth gold for some reason there is no grills for gold store like there's a cash for gold store you know um <laughs> um but Rockwood also includes this handy little table outside. And you can see that it's not all swollen up. Someone didn't leave it out in the rain. They took care of this. They took care of this camper very well, inside and out, by the way. Um, they, uh, you know, it gives you a place to leave your platter. So when you're done with your tongs over here, you got a place to set them and a place to put your food. Their suspension system on here is a significant difference. This is a dual independent torsion axle system. Uh, they are not, uh, uh, this is not a leaf spring suspension where the two tires are sort of bracketed together. Each tire has its own independent vertical wheel travel. It's a rubber shock dampening system and it is the best system on the road out there. It's also the most expensive. Most brands won't pay for it. That is one of the reasons Rockwoods have such a rigid uh, shell. Other manufacturers are allowing their shell to flex to absorb road shocks. Rockwood doesn't. They keep the shell fully laminated and rigid because that stuff gets soaked down here. So your walls, your windows, your appliances, your furniture, it doesn't get that extra shock and jarring going down the road. They, you know, And it soaks up here also before it gets translated forward into your truck. So you're not going to get that herky-jerkiness going down the road. These are some of the best towing trailers out there. Truly. They truly are. I've towed a lot of different things. Um, what's the weight on this one? 5,626 pounds. A 5,600 pound super slide rear living room as compared to um, a conventionally built non-ultralight floor plan like this is easily 68 to 7200 pounds so this is truly significantly lighter roughly 800 to 1200 pounds lighter very very easily half ton towable potentially suv towable provided you have proper tow packaging if you don't know what your vehicle tows don't chance it give us a call I don't want you towing something that's not safe for you. I don't want too much weight on a trailer pushing you through a stoplight into traffic. I want you to have a safe, good, fun time so that you can tell people, wow, those guys at Haylitz are really detail-oriented. You should go there if you're looking for a camper. Normally, there'd be two chairs back here. There's obviously only one. 
I don't know why. I haven't had a chance to speak with the previous owner or the salesman that took this on trade. My estimation is it was probably just one person camping and they didn't care about the other chair. Um, but I mean, looking at it, it's brand, I mean, it's brand new. I could throw this uh, basically into a new camper as a replacement and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. It is in fantastic shape. Um, both stands right here, by the way, have little power outlets to keep phones and devices charged. I love this little centralized control center right here. All your light switches and everything located right here. Um, your, your main living room lights and porch lights, by the way. There's little spotlights scattered around the trailer. Your slide out and awning controls here, water heater controls right here, gas and electric, by the way. Um, you know, everything's all in one spot. Your cabinet construction in a rockwood, second to none, second to absolutely none. Everything is pocket screwed and glued. Look at the routing they do here and the smooth corner cuts on those. And then start looking in the cabinets of other brands. And everything looks rough like they punched out holes, you know. Um, and notice too, we've got double struts holding overhead doors open like that. That's the kind of extra stuff other brands don't do. We've got a, I told you, fully laminated walkable roof here. Central air and heat to keep you comfortable. Um, the uh, refrigerator, you notice has these handy little um, uh, uh, clips here, this Dometic fridge, and this is kind of, these are breather clips to help keep it from getting uh, moldy and, and moist inside. And I also love just the simple battery disconnect. It's not fancy, it's not flashy, it doesn't have to be, it's functional. All these modern electronics, this, this DVD player, that TV, even your air conditioner, your water heater, your refrigerator, they have circuit panels in them that even though you turn this thing off, there's still a circuit panel inside that needs power. It's a, it, you know, it needs to, it's waiting for input basically. Well, they don't go off, they go into standby and they use about 40% of their total power draw. Well, that'll soak your battery very quickly, if it, even if your RV is just in storage. So they fix that problem. You don't have to worry about your battery dying here. We've got a bigger oven, 22 inch oven instead of a 16 and that has never, ever, ever been used. Most people use that as a bread box. It's so funny. People won't buy a lot of campers if it doesn't have an oven because they're used to an oven at home. We want something that's, that feels like home and familiar, but they never use it ever. You know, look at the shine on this. They kept everything clean and in great shape. They never cooked in their camper ever. Um, let's see. I think I've pretty much killed this. This is a uh, um, uh, air bed, hide a bed. Haven't looked to see if the mattress is still there. If it's not, 17 bucks at Walmart will fix that. And if that mattress is a deal breaker, I'll buy it for you out of my own pocket. I don't care. It's 17 bucks. Um, full overhead storage here in the slide out. And again, uh, all of your cabinet doors are all hardwood. The overhead doors have their own, um, you know, struts to keep them open. And all of your mechanisms, everything's in great shape. We have a hardwood freestanding uh, dining table and four chairs. These are what my grandmother called sewing seats because she could keep her thread and bobbins under there. And we do have a little extending uh, tabletop right here. You see that can extend out. So if you've got four bigger people, four my size people, we can actually still fit here. Um, let's uh, move forward a little bit. Look at the entertainment center. All original electronics still present and accounted for. Even Wow, even the XM receiver. Uh, usually those don't come in used like that. Your stereo here does absolutely everything. AM, FM, CD, DVD. It's Bluetooth enabled. It has a built-in microphone. You can literally take hands-free calls inside your RV from your phone. You don't even have to get up to, I, you know, touch your phone. It's awesome. The uh, you know original factory television, everything's still here and accounted for. Um, they even leave you this extra shelf down here so that if you do want to add uh, like a satellite or something like that, or create your own little phone charging station, you got it. Not to mention, it's actually easy to get to your cables. So many of these trailers hide the cables behind the TV. Because don't get me wrong, it looks clean. But this looks clean too. It costs a dollar more for an extra drawer, uh, you know door face right here. But it's a lot easier. It's a lot nicer. And look at the little detail stuff. Like they put the little door stopper on here so that your handle doesn't smash your cabinetry. You know, it's it's just smarter. It takes extra thought and effort. You know, that little widget doesn't cost much of anything. But brands just won't do it because it takes the time. Uh, we have a fifth wheel shower and a travel trailer uh, ultralight camper here. And again, I don't think they ever use it. I don't think they use this camper a whole lot. Holy cow. Um, sink. Still gleams like brand new. It's actually huge. You can actually wash your hands in here. A grown man or woman can do that. Lots of leg room in front of the stool, and that is foot flush, so you don't need your face <clears throat> near your business. We have a big linen cabinet here for towels, beach towels, blankets, all that extra stuff, you know. 
And we, again, have that larger vent fan in here, the Creative Breeze fan, instead of the little four inch plastic fan that it, it's, it's okay. But this is strong enough that it can actually help ventilate here. And here's, here's why they do this. A lot of people say, why doesn't this bathroom door close? It's for air push because heat goes up. So the heat forms like an invisible blanket, if you think about it, at the top of this laminated camper. Because this is laminated, so heat can't easily escape. So that fan sucks that blanket of heat and exhausts it outside, basically. If you're dry camping, that is almost like the best little 12 volt air conditioner you can imagine. Um, we do have a nice sliding pocket door here for the bedroom, not a uh, you know um, swinging door, so you don't have to worry about ducking around it. And even their holdbacks, it's a nice fabric holdback, not a cheap plastic one. Uh, we've got CPAP stand over here for folks uh, needing such or a good cell phone charger stand. And again, side window for ventilation, um, front, uh, and we have a roof vent up here for ventilation too, so you can get some good breeze going through here. That front window letting in all that light. This is a heated mattress. Uh, there's actually, if you lift the bed, which is neat, they give you struts to do that. And uh, they give you kind of a two-level storage thing. There's your heater controller. But they give you actual usable drawer space. You know, it costs more to do this. It's a nicer, more functional space. You're going to get more use out of that than just a big tub uh, under the bed that you can't use. And look at this. Everything is aluminum constructed. If this had a booth dinette, it would have an aluminum framework. You know, they use as little wood as possible and where they do, it's good quality wood. It's not particle board. It's not OSB. Um, you know, it's just an inferior product and this is not designed to be an inferior trailer. Um, it's hard to get these. I mean, we sell this floor plan like crazy brand new. It's very hard to get them used because this is really marketed and performs as like one of the last trailers you ever need and it's lightweight and it's very well appointed a lot of lightweight trailers are very basic in their amenities they're very scaled down rockwood said i don't care that we're light we're going to be really nice and they still are you know even a couple years old this is still better equipped than a lot of lightweights today 800-256-5196 hey with rv of Coldwater, michigan take care stay safe happy camping everybody